Sign up to the SBR Network and use your free daily bet points to earn real-world prizes. Click on the page and start winning now. Welcome everyone, I'm Jordan Sharp. Game number four of the Eastern Conference Finals is set to tip off on Monday evening as the Indiana Pacers head back into Miami for game number four in this one. And after the Heat have uh, uh, taken control of the series two games to one after winning the last two in a row, they come in as a six point favorite in this one, total of 183 points. Now, the, the Heat got themselves in a little bit of a hole early in game number three, however, broke out of it for the win. And once again, for the second straight game, in the fourth quarter, the Miami Heat took control and took advantage of a lot of different mismatches. Once again, LeBron James pretty unstoppable, and he also held Paul George down once again on the defensive end, which is huge for this uh, this matchup and this series. And now in game four with Miami in the lead, I think they're gonna smell some blood here. We're going to see a similar style of matchup issues for the Indiana Pacers. Uh, Miami, I think, has figured out the rotation, uh, has figured out a rotation that it can best the Indiana Pacers' big lineup. Uh, they've inserted Norris Cole and Ray Allen in with Dwayne Wade, LeBron, and either Bosch or Anderson. It's really giving the Indiana Pacers some trouble because David West, as, we've, as you've seen the last couple of games, has had to have been chasing Ray Allen around screens late in the game. And that's just not going to be very good for the Indiana Pacers on the other end of the floor with LeBron James already holding down Paul George. David West tiring himself out on the defensive end, not being able to give them much offense. There isn't much left, left to go to on the offensive end for the Indiana Pacers. Last night, George Hill was taken out by Norris Cole, who was a lot quicker than him. George was continuously in foul trouble last night. And if Indiana can't defend all four quarters here through this game, uh, the Miami Heat are going to win the next two games, I think, rather easily with these defensive mismatches they've created. If, Indi if Indiana is still going to refuse to downsize, I think the uh, Heat have finally figured out a, uh, a five-man, six-man rotation here that's going to be able to hurt them long-term in this game. Now, once again, I think that uh, the Heat here are the play after cashing them in game number three of this series at minus six. I think they still hold some value here at home. They're two and one against the spread in this series, and they've won four of their last five against Indiana, both straight up and against the spread. So I think you're seeing that the Heat have finally figured it out. I think they're going to turn it on here once again, win these next two games to go on to the NBA Finals. So add Miami minus six to your NBA picks tonight. Best of luck to you on this one. Make sure you check out my play tomorrow on the Spurs and Thunder game four of that series. But until then, I'm Jordan Sharp, and this has been another edition of The Sharp Pick.